Ilmarinen, one of the chief deities in the Finno-Ugric religion, functioning both as creator deity and as weather god. He forged the Sampo, a world pillar that supports the sky, and hammered the firmament itself. He is often mentioned in mythic songs as working in a smithy, with no doors or windows and without any tools except those he magically creates from his own clothes, using his knee as an anvil. In this role, he has similarities with some Sami gods. One of those is Vervalden Radian, who was also associated with the Sampo. In his capacity as weather deity, Ilmarinen is responsible for giving of rain and wind. He performs a function similar to that of Big Olme, the wind man of the Sami, who is represented by a statue with a shovel and club in his hands for scooping out snow, ice or rain from his abode. The Sami of Finnmark in northern Norway used the name Ilmaris, referring to a deity who brings storms and bad weather. The earliest reference to Ilmarinen is the list of Finnish deities compiled in 1551 by Mikael Agricola, the Lutheran bishop who developed written Finnish. Agricola identified Ilmarinen specifically as a weather god who aids travellers on their journeys. It's very hard to come across evidence that Ilmarinen was ever worshipped, but what is probably the oldest stratum of Kalevala type poetry concerning the exploits of Ilmarinen connects him with various acts. Elias Lonroth's redaction of the Kalevala includes material from this ancient folk tradition, but increases the number of his appearances, featuring him in 27 out of the 50 divisions of this epic. Lonrut also enchances Ilmarinen's personality with a human dimension. The name Ilmarinen is probably derived from the Finno-Ugric word Ilma, meaning air, and by extension, weather and world. The Udmurts, or Votiaks, distant relatives of the Finns and inhabitants of the region northeast of Moscow between the Kama and Vyatka rivers, called their sky god Ilmar or Inmar, a famous Sami witch drum presented in 1692 as an exhibit in court, depicts a god named Ilmaris as having the power to raise and calm storms at sea. Among the many names applied to Ilmarinen in the epic tradition, one of them is Shaper of the Mysterious Luck Bringing Sampo. Now, Sampo is a difficult term, and scholarly research has produced more than 60 definitions for it. But according to the most widely held view, the Sampo is a support of the world. One folk poem places the forging of the Sampo shortly after the genesis of the sky, earth, sun, moon and stars, all of which the poem claims were formed by the breaking of an eagle's egg. The poem which goes on to relate how Ilmarinen and his brother Vainamoinen steal the Sampo resembles some other ancient Nordic sagas. But the name, Shaper of the Mysterious Luck Bringing Sampo, refers to the tradition in which Ilmarinen creates the Sampo himself, as in the episode in which, as a result of this act, he wins a competition against his brother for the beautiful maid of Pohjola. Together, Vainamoinen and Ilmarinen strike the primeval spark in the upper aerial regions. Ilmarinen is also credited with forging a golden maid, who eventually proves no match for a real woman. Ilmarinen as smith god later developed into a culture hero who makes useful objects for people and takes part in various adventures, including some love quests. Ilmarinen for me is definitely the most interesting god from the Finno-Ugric pantheon. He definitely is the most mysterious in my opinion. The reason is is because every avenue you try to find out stuff about him leads you back to the Kalevala and you try and kind of find out more about him and then you go around a corner and there's the Kalevala going oh hey well, what's up it's me again. Trying to find information where are you? Well unfortunately I'm your only man. <laughs> so it's a bit tough. I also feel like Elias Lonrut may have dumbed Ilmarinen down, okay? Elias was a fanatical Christian. And then he was also the author of the Kalevala, so you're kind of thinking to yourself, what are you trying to hide here? <laughs> but not only that, definitely 
Ilmarinen was the victim of a dumbing down. Um, because this is the creator. This is like a person who can create anything. He should be up there. He should be... Like, he shouldn't be in any kind of scene with Vinamoinen, in my opinion. That whole scene in the in the Kalevala when he's like on this buddy cop adventure with Vinamoinen. It's just weird that this creator god, this smithing god, is going on this little like trip with Vinamoinen. It's very, very odd. It's very weird. So that's why I think he's definitely the victim of a dumbing down. Um, also, guys, if you have any like research yourself or any other kind of links, whether it be in Finnish, whether it be in English, send them to me, please, because I would love to know more about this particular god. Because he is, like I said, he's the most interesting one for me.